Well, Memphis seems to be finding a new sweet spot when it comes to companies considering moving here. Companies, companies not normally associated with the Bluff City, from biomass to AI supercomputers, and now a new crypto mining facility in Southeast Memphis. Now, while neighbors aren't so sure, supporters see a brighter future and positive impact for Memphis. ABC 24's Lauren Terman has more tonight. So, Lauren, tell us about this crypto mining facility. Pepper, cryptocurrency and mining can be confusing for some people as the concept is still relatively new and evolving daily. These mining facilities use hundreds of computers and high-tech equipment to create new crypto coins. One tech expert I spoke with says innovative centers like these could lead Memphis into becoming one of the larger tech hubs in the country. Like physical currencies, you can use cryptocurrency like a regular debit or credit card. According to Freeman Law, these mining facilities allow for new cryptocurrency to come in, and through these facilities, transactions are verified and finalized. The executive director and co-founder of Code Crew says this is a great opportunity to further Memphis's technological expansion. For quite some time, lots of us have been rolling up our sleeves in Memphis trying to build a tech ecosystem that is a, uh, the perfect coming together, if you will, of jobs, researchers, education, and entrepreneurship. Last October, the Memphis and Shelby County Board of Adjustment approved Merkle Standard, a California-based digital mining group, to start work on the facility at 4545 South Mendenhall Road. A five-year contract between MLGW and Merkle Standard became effective this year and in the wake of other tech ventures in the area, such as XAI Supercomputer, some environmental groups have expressed concerns over over energy and power. Just know that the council is going to do everything we can to make sure we're doing our due diligence. Meka Egwekwe with Code Crew says this new facility will also provide the new generation with opportunities. That includes some of the students he works with. Memphis not only has the momentum, but has a real opportunity to show the rest of the country how to bring diversity to tech and at the same time intersect technology. The expected minimum monthly fee paid to MLGW will be just under $200,000 for this facility. City Council Chairman J.B. Smiley also tells me that Merkel Standard representatives will be going before the council in the coming weeks to present more information. They're expected to discuss finances and energy and power use as construction is underway on this facility. We reached out to Merkel Standard for comment, but they did not provide us with a response. Richard and Pepper? 